in effect, he blamed President Trump and your administration for the deal that you made with the Taliban back in 2020, President Biden said in his statement, when I became president, I faced a choice, follow through on the deal or ramp up our presence and send more American troops to fight once again in another country's civil conflict. Uh, he should be less focused on trying to uh, blame this on someone else than to solving the problem of making sure that we protect and defend American security. Chris, it's worth noting, this did not happen on our watch. We reduced our forces significantly, and the Taliban didn't advance on capitals all across Afghanistan. So it's just a, a plain old fact that this is happening under the Biden administration's leadership now, almost a quarter of a way into his first term. This is an absolute joke from Mike Pompeo. Donald Trump and his former administrators are trying to take credit for leaving Afghanistan, while also trying to sandbag Joe Biden with all the blame for the fallout of leaving Afghanistan. Now, ultimately, leaving Afghanistan and sticking with that plan is the correct decision by Joe Biden. And now, the Taliban has actually offered an opportunity for the United States to evacuate without interference, an opportunity that should be taken. But we must remember that we can't allow these Republicans, these reactionaries, to use the fallout, what was inevitable, as some sort of propaganda to claim that we need to go invade again or that Joe Biden made the wrong decision. Pulling out of Afghanistan was the correct decision, and I am not one that hesitates to criticize Biden when he deserves it. Our opportunity now is to take in as many refugees as we possibly can, to take this opportunity that the Taliban has given us by promising not to interfere with evacuation efforts. We need to take in as many refugees as want to come to the United States, and we need to actually live by our word of respecting human rights. Because if we did respect human rights and we actually cared about the people of Afghanistan, then we would let in anybody that wants to. The reason why the Taliban was able to gain so much popularity in Afghanistan in the first place is because of how horrifically the United States was treating people in Afghanistan and the constant stream of bombs on innocent people. There was no more effective propaganda for the Taliban than bombs with American flags on them. For the past 20 years, defense contractors have been using Afghanistan as a money-making machine. And the least we can do is take in refugees now that our system there has collapsed. If the Republicans and Democrats are being honest about their humanitarian concerns, what they will do is use this opportunity to evacuate as many people as they possibly can. If the Taliban has promised not to interfere with evacuations, they should take that to the fullest extent they possibly can. We have an opportunity to take in refugees, an infinite number of refugees, which we should. Anybody who wants to leave Afghanistan to come to the United States should be given that opportunity. So while it was a difficult decision to make and one that led to inevitable tragedy, ultimately Joe Biden made the right decision. Pulling out of Afghanistan is the only way to prevent decades of even more misery than what people are dealing with right now. And Joe Biden needs to take this opportunity that they've been given to evacuate as many people as possible. This is Ben Corolla with Rebel Headquarters. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with my content. You can also catch me on the Young Turks Twitch channel every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time with my show Galaxy Brain.